Hi, this video is going to show how quick and easy it is to enroll a Datalogic mobile computer into Samsung's Knox MDM. So on the left hand side I have a brand new Memorial 11 just out of the box and sitting at the high there screen, which is the first screen you'll see when you power on for the first time. On the right hand side I have my Knox console and we're going to go through the steps needed to enroll and configure this device. So first thing that we'll do is create a user for this device. And we're going to apply this user to the default user group that you will have already in your profile as default. And there's nothing else that we need to do in here, so we'll save that user. And if we go down to the group, you will see this user is inside this group. Now, any applications or settings that we put inside this group now will apply to all of these users. So firstly, for the applications itself that, that I want to use, these are the apps that are available to this group that I've already added via the application page here. So if you want to add applications yourself, I would recommend doing it from the Manage Play Store and adding the applications from this screen. Here are some apps that I've already added previously, made available to the default group by assigning it this way. These applications can be configured. So our OEM config app, for example, if we modify the settings for this app, we can change the settings on the device itself. Things like scanner settings, what barcodes it will and won't read, power settings, um, screen brightness, any setting that you can find on the device itself in the settings menu, you can set via here automatically. You can also do firmware updates for the device and launch other applications. So here I am launching the Datalogic Kiosk Launcher to restrict access to particular applications that I'm going to specify. I'm going to do that by modifying the settings for our Kiosk Launcher app as well. In the same place and I've added one application that I'm going to allow the users to access which is our scan demo app. So any users that enroll into this particular group will have the ability to access these applications that we've whitelisted in our launcher. So these are the possible applications, but the applications that we've actually allowed are inside the launcher settings itself in here. So we've got our user. Our user is part of the Datalogic group and we've added some applications that this user will be able to make use of. What we now need to do is enroll the device into the MDM under this user's ID. So as you can see right now, we have no devices enrolled. If we go to the Datalogic developer page, which is developer.datalogic.com, you can use our Android Enterprise QR generator to quickly enroll and stage the device. So we'll create a new code We'll select Knox from our drop-down list 
and there are a few fields here that we need to now add. So the tenant ID is for your particular um, Knox tenant and you can find that here. The user ID you can find from the user that you just created and it's the username. So in my case, test along with the password that I set when I created that user. Now this password field is optional. If you don't add a password in here, it'll mean that your user has to enter it when they enroll the device. So if you have personal passwords for your users, leave that field blank and they can enter or scan a code for their barcode. We'll also need to add network so that the device can download the Knox Manage agent. Obviously once it's enrolled, um, the networks that you've set in your Knox Manage configuration will take over. So we're now ready to scan the barcode with the device. So directly from this screen, I'm just going to push the scan button on the side of the device to scan the code. From there, device is connected to my network, as you can see up here, and we'll have to get through the first few terms and conditions screens, allowing access from uh, Nox itself. So once this is finished, we will hopefully see a new device appear here. Right. And when that configuration is finished being applied, the device will automatically be locked down and running the scan demo application that we set in our configuration. So we're not going to touch the device, it'll now download the applications from the Play Store that we've set and then lock down the device into kiosk mode. I'm keeping the device awake for this video, but you can let it sleep and this will carry on in the background. The applications, which is the Wi-Fi parameters app, I've added.
and it's now locked down and running our scanning down the ocean. Our kiosk screen restricting access to only the application that we specified. So the configuration is finished and our device is enrolled, it's live and ready to be used.